think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless Savage If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask so much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to take your day I ain't over it What's up everybody? It's me, your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage I'm back to bring you another message this evening It's currently 4.52pm on August 3rd, 2024 Okay? It's nice outside I just came back in Uh... Uh, thank you, Dad, for waking me up this morning, for giving me a good day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was drama-free, and I wasn't really feeling, picking up on no nasty, negative energy, which is very, very good. Uh, how about y'all? It been Has it been all right? I'm a little kind of sweaty, but I just came back in, so I'm going to turn the air on in a minute, but I figured let's just wait a second, okay? But thank you, Most High God, for bringing me here for this message. Thank you for... Uh, I just heard divine intervention. Okay? That's what I heard. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, family. Uh, we are almost at 10,000. I'm like, this is amazing to me. I'm 35 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers. Which means people absolutely love hearing me talk a bunch of bullshit. Not bullshit like that, but you know what I'm saying? People really like to hear what I got to say. Uh, and I feel like that's because I speak for not just for myself, but a bunch of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not I'm not on here pontificating, uh, you know, a rhetoric or I'm not standing on my soapbox, at least not all the time anyways. But I, I generally feel like, um, you know, when I say things, it's for it's not just for me. It's for everybody. It's for people that, you know, can't speak or people that have a hard time speaking. Um, plus, I'd be pulling on that, that ether energy, picking up on that because we need we need to get some updates on stuff in our lives. Or what's to come or what has happened or what's currently going on now or just some 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 advice from beyond it's what i heard but no and i and i'm very grateful you know you guys you guys are awesome man like this 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 whole kind of this whole kind of community that we're building around this channel not around me okay let's get let's get that straight not around me but this channel you know uh people have to watch you know you know what i'm saying like it's not about me. It's really and truly not. Uh, so, I congratulations to us. Okay. It's kind of like um, confirmation. <laughs> it's kind of like I have a huge house that people can just come and chill in and kick it and, and just relax and chill out. Uh, yeah, it's my house, but y'all got to clean up after yourself. You feel me? Y'all got to make your own plates. You know, that's how that's how I feel about it. So. Welcome to welcome to my house. It's your house as well. So uh, I took a nap earlier. What do I want to talk about first? Okay, let's let's talk about this. So I, I saw somebody run a red light only to get just to go up to the next block and have to stop. <laughs> that was some dumb. That was dumb. So it's just kind of like uh, what I what I heard when I saw that was that people don't want to stop, but they're being forced to stop because people are being reckless. They have to stop. That person could have hit somebody. Somebody could have hit that person. But they, they, they didn't want to stop. But they got to that next light, that next block, and they had to stop. So people are possibly being forced. Well, they're being forced to stop. People that are being reckless, people that don't have a, uh, a concern for themselves or other people are being forced to stop. That's what I heard, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? So yeah, I got I, I I left earlier and I went. Where did I go? Yikes! I went to the farmers market. Yeah, I did. I went to go walk around down there. It's nice being around people. It's nice not being confirmation, being cooped up in the house a lot. You know, y'all like y'all know how I feel about being outside, man. It is. I've been extremely kind of traumatized from like gang stalking. I I have, and 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 not even just from gang stalking. Just like when you. Anybody that knows, you know, what it's like to use drugs, especially a crystal meth, you spend a lot of time indoors. <laughs> and if you're not indoors, you're at the casino. <laughs> and, 
it's still indoors. You know what I'm saying? So breaking old habits and, 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 and it's 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 challenging it's a challenging thing. You know, you to because it's a mindset. It's all in your mind. You know, you get trapped in your mind from trauma, from drug abuse, from alcohol abuse, from just like abuse over over time. You know, self inflicted abuse even. So I got out and then I came back and I took a nap. And I'll tell you about the dream that I had here in just a second. But then I went. I ended up going to. Uh, they had an art festival going on over in Minneapolis um, at Powderhorn Park. And I went up there just to you know I like art art show, art festivals because you know you get to see a lot of. Uh, creativity going on in that and it, and, it, and it inspired me to you know people are up there just doing their thing you know showcasing showcasing their, their artwork or their gifts i went and got a, a hamsa uh tan uh, uh not tattoo but a henna a, a evil eye hamsa um henna because i'm tired of telling these stupid bitches to go blind <laughs> so i figure i just put it on my arm so i don't have to say it no more okay so here you go you hating assholes okay uh, but you know, just, and I got this because, you know, I like to support, I like to support, uh, small, small businesses. Do you know what I'm saying? I really do. And, 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 uh, entrepreneurs, especially when it comes to people just be, I mean, it was 10 bucks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's nice. It's, it's very nice. It didn't take her long at all. This was my first time ever getting one. So shout out to her. Um, she did say she was going to come and subscribe. So hopefully she did. Okay. I really like this. It's cute. And it got a little bit of glitter on it. A fairy farted on my arm. Okay, that's the way I like Tinkerbell came through. Yeah. Anyway, I had a dream and it was weird AF, but it was pretty good. So picture Cirque du Soleil. It was like a Cirque du Soleil. It was a concert. And uh, guess who was singing? Sierra. I have been dreaming about celebrities a lot lately. Okay. I wish the diddler wouldn't have showed up in my dream the other night, but you know, uh, we gonna we gonna rebuke his ass in the name of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and God. Okay, that he stays out of my dream state. Okay, somebody could have also been cloaking as him as well. Uh, somebody that's probably you know into the that trade or whatever. It was gross. I took a shower afterwards. Okay, uh, but so she was. So it was like a Cirque du Soleil performance, uh, and she was and she was singing, but it was a Cirque du Soleil for Cinderella, right? Uh, but it was very it was very abstract. I mean, it was it was like it was you know it was definitely a five D interpretation or or five D reality. Maybe that's what maybe that's what Cirque du Soleil because I mean people were literally crawling up the walls and not in a creepy kind of like demon kind of way but they were like people were crawling up the walls it was very it was very uh, uh, asynchronous I don't think that's the word I'm looking for uh, but let's just say it was well choreographed but she was singing a song and I cannot re I, I woke up and I heard the words and the verse kept going on over and over in my head about what she was singing it was very beautiful by the way. Um, and yeah, and so Sierra was singing about Cinderella. Uh, so th that could be very significant for somebody out there. Your name could be Cinderella. I don't know. Are people actually named Cinderella? I'm sure that there's probably a few people out there, probably a bunch of people out there named Cinderella. Um, you could be uh, somebody that was abused, like beat the fuck up all the time by your evil stepmother and your three sisters or how it's flip the roses, you know, flip the roses they fit because... A lot of men out here these days are just like those bitches from that fairy tale. You feel me? And so are a lot of dads too. So it doesn't have to be a stepmom or a st it could be like sisters. It could be a stepdad and some stupid ass brothers. I don't know. Or a stepmom and some brothers. You could also be a seven foot tall, beautiful Amazon woman. Because <laughs> Sierra, that's a tall motherfucker. Okay, she's beautiful, but she's tall. She's a definitely definitely a lot of Amazonian energy there, like Wonder Woman energy. Um, you could be a dancer. You could you could be a performer. You could do Cirque du Soleil, okay? Um, yeah. So, in any given event, I just, you know, that was the dream I had. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got the four swords in the reverse here. People don't want to let something go. I just, what did I just say? People don't know when to stop. Okay, yeah, and it, temperance. Somebody's angry. Somebody could be very angry right now, possibly a Sagittarius. But somebody's very angry or sick. Okay, somebody's very ill-tempered. Okay, 
four of wands here in a house so, so there's something going on inside of some type of structure or a house okay we got the two of swords here in the upright and then we got the three of wands here the eight of swords in the reverse a queen of pentacles a whore or somebody that's doing something very or has done somebody that's very materialistic would do anything for money anything for clout anything for money anything for status so what are we talking about here okay oh yeah and then these so there's a botanica up over south minneapolis um and so there's a tarot of de los orishas de, tarot de los orishas and so i've been seeing this deck for a while and i'm like i don't read spanish but i kind of do read spanish i was reading the book and i was like oh cats i know what that means uh, so this kind of this was has been literally calling me to come back and get it. So I went and got it. I'm done spending money, like for real. I got enough cards for now, and I'm I'm making my own. So you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. But I'm gonna use this uh, after because I wanna. I'll show you guys what they kind of look like real quick. I know I'm like all over the place right now, just because I'm having a good day, and I and I'm generally. Uh, you know, unless I'm in, involved in some type of discussion, I'm generally somebody that's all over the place. I'm a Gemini and I cannot help it. Okay. Um, and what I realized today, too, about what's like how like the, the way that I'm, I'm kind of navigating myself through this experience that we all are going through called life or just like, you know, the great awakening has i feel i feel like the great awakening and 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 the adversarial kind of energy to combat people waking up to go back to sleep is concluding i feel like if people weren't on the bus over the last four years to wake up i feel like it's a done deal i really do i feel like they missed the goal they missed it okay that's what i just kind of feel that's what i just kind of feel like okay but who am i i'm not god you know i just work for him and who's gonna fire me no one what's up Maji? yeah so they got like olorun is uh, represented by the fool um and then we have the magician which is los Ob obius the, tw the twins are those twins see that's what i'm saying i gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna figure it out before i start using them but then they got like the coconuts here um i believe this is probably uh uh pentacles okay we got earth here which is the palm it look like palm trees like palms i don't know we'll have to figure that out won't we um and then they got the wands the, the, this would be uh what are the, what are those what are those sticks those big uh bamboo bamboo would be the wands and I've, i'm assuming that the the the, the, the akari shells would be water okay um uh, but they have all the orishas uh, all of the uh, major arcana are represented by orishas um oshun um is uh number six the lovers mm-hmm yeah that's what i heard um strength is ochosi yeah so i you know babalu ia is number nine so that is uh what's number nine you guys in the tarot deck what's number nine virgo the investigator so yeah we're gonna be using these tonight okay i just i'm just gonna i gotta just i think i'm gonna well i should already know i mean i know i do i do enough tarot to where i should know with the numbers of the major arcana but nobody's perfect at all okay uh but yeah i this concludes this concludes me purchasing tarot decks for a while you know I, there's a couple of different there are some content creators out there that i that i truly adore that i'm gonna buy some decks from uh that's not included in my pause for buying decks though all right so back to this Somebody doesn't want to let something go. Queen of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, female energy. Uh, that th This could just be this person's energy, though. It doesn't have to be. Uh, well, uh, we got the Queen of Pentacles, uh, Queen, of, Queen of Cups right behind her. So we're talking about a, a really toxic feminine energy here. I'm telling you, does not want to. Shoot. Somebody could be getting put out of somewhere. Or somebody, somebody could really be getting put out somewhere. Put out of somewhere. Okay, I thought this was the Eight of Swords. It's not. It's the Five of Swords. Somebody does not want to accept some type of ending or defeat. Again, somebody is being forced to walk away from a partnership here because uh, somebody's seen through so a bunch of lies here. Mm-hmm. 
So this person uh, is very materialistic and also a very bad mother. Or just somebody that's, uh, you know, the Queen of Cups in the reverse is somebody who's very cold hearted um, and not very nurturing. This is generally of the mother uh, in the tarot deck here. Somebody could also be a cancer. Uh, but this is somebody that's very materialistic um, and, and never wants to give up any coochie or booty male or female <laughs> somebody that somebody that does somebody that's not very interested in uh spending time with their man or woman just somebody that wants to spend all their man or woman's money i don't know why i heard that somebody's like not even putting out at this point like they weren't even putting out they stopped putting out they just like to spend money they're all about money confirmation all right so somebody somebody doesn't want something to end here with the four of swords uh temperance card that talks about somebody being angry somebody's pissed off um as it pertains to like that but this is happening inside of a home okay somebody this is this is this is going on inside of a home with the four of wands here uh this this is this is the two of swords the two of swords here talks about being at a stalemate or being blocked okay indecision but i'm picking up on stalemate here because then we got the three of wands here yeah because they know what's coming a, a defeat five of swords mm -hmm. they know it's coming i feel like somebody's getting put out of a house yeah this is this is this is a dissolution a dissolution this is all behind a dissolution of a relationship with the two of cups here in the reverse yeah the eight of cups here somebody somebody is walking away or is telling somebody they got to get the fuck out that's what i heard yeah two of cups here all right somebody found out a secret high priestess yeah, somebody found out a secret, the seven of cups in the reverse to the high priestess too as well. All that out here. Somebody found out a secret. Let's see what the secret is, okay? So now, um, this has something to do with the four of pentacles right here. Somebody could have possibly, they found out a secret about somebody withholding funds or hiding funds or stashing some money. Could be. Spirit said, yeah, keep it out. All right. Or now somebody's withholding money from this feminine energy after what they found out or what they will be finding out depending on where you are in the timeline yeah ten of swords it's a wrap it is a wrap because somebody did something very stupid here or somebody feels like a fool a dumbass but the but but the, but 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 let's see come on yeah, let's see Somebody foolishly was was stealing money or holding on to some money. I don't know. I really feel like somebody's not giving somebody something anymore. I feel like somebody is holding back with the four of pentacles here. They deaded something here. They're like, this is over. I feel like somebody's done giving somebody money. Somebody's done financially supporting someone. We got the fool here in the reverse. Somebody feels dumb as hell. Okay. Clarify the fool in the reverse. It's probably the masculine energy. Yeah, the hierophant could be talking about a Taurus. Somebody was stupid to get married. Somebody's somebody's getting a divorce. Somebody will be getting a divorce, okay? This could am I might I feel like there's just a lot going on in this house with these people cuz they're still in the same house. They really are. Somebody's telling somebody to get out or like they they're being forced out of a house. Confirmation. These people are married with the higher with the higher fine here. Somebody, somebody, somebody is done is done providing though. They're ho they're holding back their finances. I feel like I feel like somebody's also been 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 cuffing on some some money too though. I feel like this feminine energy um, either has been stashing money that they that is not theirs. You know, like sometimes when people get in relationships or whatnot. You know, you know, uh, especially if somebody's like a housewife and the man and the man works well. I mean, she got to have money, uh, but, you know, sometimes people take that a little too far and they're like, well, I need more money. And I feel like that might have been somewhat of the case as well from what I'm hearing. This person just like to spend this person. If you were OK, 
people, 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 people. This is the way I like to look at stuff. Do I feel like it's okay for somebody to get married and, you know, somebody goes to work and the other one doesn't work? I mean, I don't know. That's y'all's y'all, that's business. Would I, be, would I be in a relationship like that? No. I, I, I have to have my own money. Uh, I did it once. Like, like somebody literally talked me into quitting my job and they were going to take care of everything. And I fought, I fought against it for months. Um, and then I finally, my friends, all, you know, my karmic friends were like, and they was all in on it any damn way, you know stupid me uh but they were like what's i mean he got it i mean it, you, you know you you know just Dwayne. it's okay for somebody to want to take care of you and i said you know what fine and it went good for a while um until things went south um yeah because best believe that a lot of times well not all the time but when you're dealing with a fuck boy and they're spending the money on you. There's another bitch behind the scenes or another nigga behind the scenes that they're spending money on too. Okay? And that's when shit gets complicated. Okay? That's when you might want to get your ass a job. I just remembered something. Side note here. Commercial break. So after I quit my job um, and things started to go south. And this, and this fucker like lost his job. And I had to start doing things. Not, I wasn't selling no booty or no front, or no mouth, okay, or no, or no hand jobs. I don't, you know, no matter what, no matter what the popular popular opinion or rhetoric is. But I, 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 I had, I work because I've always worked, and so I, I got, I got another job, of course, so we could pay bills and eat, you know. Um, but he kept doing things to make me lose my job when I was, and I, and at this point I just started working from home. So like, I remember one time I just remember, I don't know why I remember this. Maybe I need to say this. I don't know. But I'm putting it out there anyways, too late. One time, uh, I was at home working and this nigga kicked the door down cause he was acting a fool while I was on the phone at work, the entire door. And there was a, there was just a concerted effort. I'm saying it was just a concerted effort for me to be unstable, for me not to have anything. And it's so weird, like, you know, when you clear out that negative energy, so this could be for somebody out there, when you clear out that negative energy um, and, you, and, you, and you refocus your energy onto self and the healing process, there's a lot of things that you're going to start to remember. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you're going to start to remember. And I feel like we remember those things not because we want to take a, a trip down memory lane. But I feel like sometimes taking, you know, just a, a trip down memory lane, as long as you don't stay there. If you just want to go back to take a look, uh, remind you on what not to do in the future ever again. I don't care. I wouldn't care if I was married to a billionaire. OK, and I never had to work like it. And it was fine. Like if this person, if the person I was with was like, baby, you don't never have to work again. You're going to be fine. And it was like a guarantee. I still would have my own hustle because you never know here today, gone tomorrow, you know. And, and a lot of times it's not even about the fact that somebody won't do it for you. Sometimes things happen where a person can't do it for you anymore. And then where does that leave you? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Always have your own hustle. Back to this. Let's get some more energy on this. These people are married though. Okay. We got Aquarius energy out here. The star in the reverse. Tell me about the star in the reverse. We could be talking about an Aquarius. Uh oh. Are we back on this bitch again? Okay. <laughs> uh, it could be another one. All right. Yeah, I can't make it up. King of Pentacles in the reverse. One more. The lovers. This person was cheating on him and spending and spending a lot of money on her. I what did I what did I just say? I mean, it's a, it's the kind of like the reverse though. So this there's somebody that's with a karmic Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's definitely. There's, there's nothing that would make this person happier, male or female, I don't know, okay? Nothing that would make this person happier than to detach from this very toxic feminine energy. 
Uh, but there's also a either this male is an Aquarius, so we have an Aquarius in the reverse, the King of Pentacles, who is also that I mean that's this person's equal. I mean this could be this could be this could this could really be a very karmic couple here. Now that I'm thinking about it here, they're both karmic. Clarify the uh, star to the King of Pentacles to the lovers. These two are lovers. Okay, well, no, they're married. But it's a very karmic situation. You got a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles, both together. And now this Queen of Pentacles has been cut off from, from funds. And is being put out the house. Somebody or, or somebody with the Two of Swords here too, though, with the Four, with the four it's like somebody can't go back home. Like there could be like a restraining order. Somebody could confirmation. Somebody got maybe possibly got a restraining order and changed the locks. Somebody's being blocked from coming back home. Okay. Somebody somebody can't come back home. Somebody's being blocked from coming back home. The feminine energy. She got put out. Is that what happened? Did this feminine energy get put out of the home? I need to get those initial cards too. And the state cards. One second, you guys. All right, 2600 when I came back. That number could be very significant. The number 26 or 2600, okay? That's eight. It breaks down to an eight, so that's karma. I'm telling you, karma, karma is making um, her rounds. Her and Big Daddy Saturn, okay? Let's get some initials out here. For this couple, let's just get three. What is that? Hold on. This doesn't belong in there. This also doesn't belong in there. All right. The letter F. <coughs> o. J. F O J could be very significant here. I don't know. J O F. O F J. O J F. However that works. All right. Let's get a state card out here. See if any of that resonates with anybody out there. Texas and Connecticut. All right, the Lone Star State. Somebody wants to be without this person. And Oklahoma, Oklahoma is also here as well. We'll keep that out. Those could be very significant to this download. Okay, and somebody's favorite color could be the orange. People talking shit about you. What do you do? So, orange could be somebody's favorite color. Somebody could like to drink orange juice. We got OJ out here. Somebody's name could be or like nickname could be orange. I don't know. Florida could be significant as well. I feel like this feminine energy has been trash talking this this King of Pentacles. So they they're both they're both karmic as fuck. They're both they're both very materialistic. Do anything for money. Probably run a horrible business together. These two people probably have a horrible business together. Okay. All right, so let's see what else is going on here. They are married, though. Tell us what happened here. Somebody's been holding back some money, or somebody's somebody got put out of the house. Or see that confirmation keeps coming in about this house. Somebody's being put out of a house. Maybe they both been put. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They both been put out of a house. Mm-hmm. That's why them confirm. That's why that confirmations keep coming in. They both been put out of a house. This married couple, both been put out of a house. They can't go back. Okay? Somebody could also be a junior with the J out here. All right? Somebody could drive an orange vehicle. 
something about orange though. Night of Wands. Seven of Wands, I'm gonna take it into reverse. One more. Two cards came out. The Eight of Swords to the Ace of Wands. Hmm. One more. Somebody lost their damn job too. Yeah, this was fated to happen with a fortune. Somebody's somebody somebody's fate has changed. Okay. We got eight eight out here again. Karma is hitting these parts. Somebody could be going to jail. Somebody could be behind bars. Somebody did something. The Knight of Wands here to the to the Seven of Wands. I feel I really feel like there's a restraining order. Because <laughs> we're talking about here the two of swords here. So put it like this. So, somebody, somebody got kicked out of a house. Okay? Or both of these people got kicked out of the house. Or what did I just hear? They both have to get out of this house. But one person is still there. Is that what I'm hearing? Somebody's still in a house that they have to leave from. Maybe somebody's getting evicted. Maybe somebody can't pay, afford to pay their mortgage. But there's something here about somebody can't go back to a house. They're being blocked from a house, okay? Now, there's somebody that is not supposed to be there, like, for sure. So, we could be talking about, like, a, a restraining order. Because with this Knight of Wands here to the Seven of Wands, somebody took some very passionate action and uh, got through. Because this way, okay, so we got the set. This is somebody like chart rushing in. But this is not the, the Knight of Swords, but this is somebody taking some action, baby. They're very serious about whatever they're doing. Now, if the Seven of Wands was this way, they'd be taking action and they were blocked. Okay? But this way, it's like they gained entry into something. They, were not, they weren't blocked, especially. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands generally, so this took me to the like Pope Tarot deck with somebody in a car. Like, they're just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Rush, like, I know it's not the, it's somebody rushing or like they mean it, like they're tr like breaking in. Somebody broke a restraining order or will be and they're going to jail. Yeah, they are. Yep. Spirit says that's the truth. Yep. That's the whole truth. Somebody's going to be breaking a restraining order. Somebody, and that's why they're going to jail. Whoever, this could actually be that female. The feminine energy, because that's what we were talking about at first. The feminine energy, I feel like, is going to break some type of restraining order here. Okay? Spirit says that's the truth. The Ace of Wands here. We got the Eight of Pentacles out here. So we're talking about a job loss or somebody did a bad job or somebody's working against something or what's going on here. swords the truth the truth came out somebody lied about having a job somebody lied about having a job
somebody looked into something here. I feel like this feminine energy lied about having a job. Okay? This person lied about having a job. Or what they did for work. Somebody lied about what they did for work. Some type of truth came out about this. Yeah. So this some type of truth came out about this. Stop it. This mother. Move. Come here. Come here. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Petty ass. He gets it from his owner. Is that what I just heard? Yeah, well. Somebody lied about what they did for work. Wow. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody lied and said they had like a real job. I just heard somebody lied about what they did for work. Clarify. So he takes his ass right back underneath there. Somebody lied about what they did for work. Is that what I'm hearing? Holy Spirit. This person feels like they should have never moved in or gotten married to this person. But they both a couple of scabs. The, knight, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. These are two people that are willing to do whatever for money. They're very motivated by money. Keeping up with the Joneses, okay? Yeah, if I can't make it up. Emperor in the reverse. Aries energy. Clarify the emperor. In the reverse. Six of swords. Yeah. He's leaving her. This person either sent this. One of these motherfuckers got sent to pack him. It could have been this emperor. I don't know. I really feel like. Clarify. Emperor. Six of swords. It's the emperor. He left. Or he left her alone or sent her packing. Okay. Yeah, six of wands here in the reverse. Six, six. You could also be seeing the number six, six. Could be very significant. Now, if you're watching this, I mean, if you, if this, if, if you are not one of these people in this low vibrational negative karmic energy, then you know these people. This is just a confirmation for you or just an update about what's going on. This is obviously something in the collective energy that I'm pulling on that needs, that story needs to be told here. Somebody left because they, they realized this was a big fat flop, okay? I feel like I feel like they both got put out of a house. There's something about a restraining order here, okay? I feel like this masculine energy is has been is still where they used to live, or I said used to live. Is still where they should not I just, I don't know if they used to live there and he's still there or they should not be living there, because I almost said that as well. It's kind of like uh, the six of swords to the six of wands is like leaving, leaving, leaving with your tail between your legs. Like, you know, you fucked up here. They know like they know that they made a wrong choice. Tell me more. One Smooth Brother TV, One Smooth Brother uploaded a short, I mean a video today about how you know, you know, uh, when people avoid you because they know they did you wrong kind of energy. I was out, this is just a commercial break, so I was out and um, I just thought about it and, and I had to really kind of check my thoughts here because we're not trying to attract people uh, that we no longer deal with. So, you know, but it was just a quick thought here. Is anybody else experiencing like a ghost town? You know how you would, you know, because I, I would leave out of the house. And again, universe, this is just for conversational purposes only. Please hear me. Keep the distance between me and these crazy motherfucking people. You feel me? But it was just a thought that I had about, I used to go everywhere I went. I always used to see at least one or two people every time I left the house that I knew. I don't see nobody. Comment in the chat, comment down below. I will be I will probably be in the chat for this one. 
Okay? But comment in the chat. Comment down below. Does, does anybody... Is that happening to anybody else? <laughs> That's a good thing, by the way. It's a good thing. Yeah, people can't face you because they know they screwed you over or your energy is just too much. Like, they know they know not to fuck with you. And that's not in a gloating way. That's just you, like, the divine is protecting you. So, I guess I'm saying this, to, especially with Mercury retrograde coming up. Tomorrow it starts. Keep that distance. People will be coming back around. I feel like I have spiritual guard dogs around my energy anyways. Angels on all sides of me anyway. Uh, if, 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 if there's a message from anybody that gets through to me, it's, it's, it's truly just because they, 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 they did something. They, they were slick. And best believe, I'm not even going to be responding. If somebody from my past hits me up, I don't care if it's an apology. I don't care if it's an explanation, the full story. Uh, I don't want any of it. Because all these, you know, when, when it comes to things like that, people... When it comes to things like that, we really always have to, we're always, going forward in life, I will always, always remember why, what people have done. And before in the past, I was always kind of like, oh, I forgive that person. It's, it was nothing. We're just going to let it go. No, I'm, I, I'm always going to remember now. Um, and that's, and that's for my protection. And that's, and that's for me to keep myself grounded in, 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 the, in, in reality. See, back in the day when I would be like, oh, I forget that because because I had I had had a I had had a download and this was before I was even aware of what downloads were, but I did I knew what God's voice was and God's voice had uh, told me that I needed to be that I needed to be more like my brother Jesus Christ. That's exactly what I heard. That I needed to uh, turn the other cheek and, and, and love and love the and love people no matter what they did. And I went through that for years and I experienced that where I just you know I forgave people time and time again and people would always continually slap me in my face and then when I would turn the other cheek then they would put their ass right there when I turned around I was, they gave me their ass to kiss you can you imagine that I'm pretty sure a lot of people can and so uh, I got that experience uh, it, it softened up my heart and that's the reason why uh, I feel like I had to go through that because I was in a very bitter um, angry bitter kind of place um, and that's why God said no you can't be like that I need you to, to, to soften up and I need you to it, can, it made me more empathetic to, you know, to an understanding as to why people did what they did. Like there's everybody has a story kind of energy. And I, know, I realize that now, but yeah, I'm, I won't be turning the other cheek and I won't be turning around it for anybody to give me their ass to kiss anymore. So it's a ghost town around this bitch. It may get a little boring sometimes, but it's nothing like being, it's nothing like not smelling somebody's ass. After they didn't slap the shit out of you. You feel me? So I always remember that shit. Yeah, somebody's very unhappy now. Somebody realizes this was not what it was cracked up to be. Okay? The Nine of Cups here. Somebody's very miserable. This Whoever this masculine energy is does not like being alone. Okay? With the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Because the Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment alone. You know, you're by yourself. Nines are very independent in tarot. This person, yeah, very much does not like being alone. So tell us what else is going on here. So this feminine energy, um, this what her nine of wandish this energy, she's uh, this, whoever this person is, is very kind of passionate and, and not in a good way either. So this could be somebody that likes to, to that likes to keep up a lot of arguments. And I, I feel like this is a loud person. Yeah, this person's going to jail or will be locked up for violating some type of restraining order uh, that this masculine energy has on her. Okay, she's going to jail though will be we got the knight of swords to the to ten of cups here hell no nah. give me one more one more queen of cups whoever this masculine energy is got other got another he's, he's running back to some baby mama so you could be this baby mama okay <laughs> Yeah, whoever he's going towards. Well, the Queen of Cups did come out in the reverse. So this, you know, it, generally speaking, anybody that doesn't like being by themselves has a bunch of karmic bitches or niggas sitting around somewhere that they're going to run back to. But this is somebody in his family or somebody that he has a family with. So this person could be going back towards with the Knight of Swords here, running back, literally, 
to some type of baby mama. Okay. Or this could be. Now, if this is you, Collective, you're not a karmic baby mama. You're just somebody that don't really care about this person. Like, you're very cold to this person. You have a family with this person. Or this could be somebody in your family. This could be, like, your brother. This could be, like, your baby daddy. This could be your ex-husband. Somewhere somewhere in this, you are a part of this person's family. And this is your energy towards that person. Like, you do not care. You see how this person's offering this? This feminine energy is offering their heart. Yeah, you're not offering shit to this person, okay? Yeah, four cups. You're going to pass this person up here because this person in the past betrayed you. Yeah, it was an unrequited love situation. Somebody broke your heart. So somebody that broke your heart is coming back to you uh, because he's getting put out of a crib. And he's broke. Yep, they're planning on it. They're going to pop up at your door with the tower here. Yep, listen. But you already closed out that cycle here. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. Yeah, whoever you are, you're in your you're in your King of Wands energy. You could you could be a male or female, but this is somebody who um, is very 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 much a leader. You could you could be taking care of this person's children. That's what I just heard. By yourself, Nine of Pentacles. You're very independent. You could be like a, a like a like you could be like a boss dad but you're a, but you're a woman you know what i'm saying you you have to play that masculine but you're doing it by yourself it's like you're raising look it you see how you're pointing there go that nigga right there you're like there you go yep oh, oh that's you saying get the fuck off my get off my land go on now go on now <laughs> nigga now you know better you better go back to that bitch okay so but you could listen whoever however this works one last card, but not one last card, but the final message for the collective here. So this is a this is just a, a message for you here. So we got a we got a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles, both very karmic here, both very money hungry, both very. I heard that they I heard that they do bad business as well, but they're very bad with money. They overspend. So this would be somebody that was probably living above their means or or, or, or flexing. They was they wasn't fake flexing, but they was flexing. They was flexing and flossing quite a bit, is what I just heard. The net, the letter F is very significant. Somebody's first, last, middle, initial could start with the letter F. Uh, but they these people were balling and they they spent too much. Uh, for some odd reason, they have to leave a house or or they're getting put out of a house or whatever the case may be. Somebody's coming back towards you though. It's too many. Final message, and then we'll get somebody, somebody oracle cards out. Yeah, justice in the reverse. This person could sell drugs. Yeah, this person could sell drugs and been locked up for drugs before. Nine of Wands here, Three of Cups to the Injustice. This talks about partying, drugs, gossip. Talk about gossip as well. But there's something very illegal, or, or, or there's a Libra, a Libra, a karmic Libra involved. Three of Cups here, maybe a third party situation here. The Nine of Wands here. This person sells drugs though. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, or does a lot of partying. Something illegal, though, okay, with their friends. That's what makes me feel like this person does drugs with the Nine of Wands here. You've been through it with this person before in the past. Like this person, you had to heal from this person, whoever you are. There was a lot of third-party activity. I feel like this person either made things very imbalanced for you or this person did a lot of illegal things with their friends. This person likes to drink and use a lot of drugs, okay? I can't make it up, Libra. Okay, so something something about the law here in the past with you and this person. The Nine of Wands talks about abuse or like being very resilient, like you went through it with this person. Okay, what's we have Virgo here is also here too. 
this person could be currently under investigation as well. So be careful. That could be the reason why they ass getting put out of a house. You feel me? Let's get some somebody, somebody. Let's just grab. Spirit said just grab. Like that. Okay. I'm fine with that. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads are uploaded. Five, five on the clock. Get them likes up. Y'all niggas weird as hell. Just sit around watching. That was weird. Did y'all see that earlier? It was like over 130 people watching in 56, uh, not even 50. It was like 46 likes. People are weird, man. It don't even cost nothing to like, but like I said, you know, when somebody likes your content, that's like a love donation. That's sending a love donation or vibrational energy to, you know, a, a, a vibrational donation to your channel. A lot of these people uh, are very low vibrational and don't know what love is or don't have love in their hearts. So they're not going to like anything. They don't even like themselves. Okay. I'm not going to watch something I don't like. I'm not going to watch. I'm, I'm not going to watch something I hate. I'm not going to watch somebody I don't like. Okay. I don't care who it is. Get a few cards out here. Somebody's a, somebody's telling a bold face lie. This person is a liar, or that for the feminine energy is a liar. Somebody, they, they both probably a, a bunch of a couple of liars. But I feel like, I feel like this is this story's twofold. So if you're involved in this situation, somebody's getting put out of a house. Somebody should not be contacting somebody, or somebody's not supposed to be <laughs> within a, a hundred or five hundred feet of somebody. I remember uh, a long time ago, somebody told somebody at a court hearing for a restraining order, I don't care if you see this person at an amusement park and, and you're, they're all the way on the other side. You have to leave that amusement park. Somebody definitely got a restraining order on somebody, okay? But somebody's going to come to you probably telling you a lie, okay? They just probably, I don't know. I feel like this person is very, uh, very codependent. This person has multiple baby mamas. Somebody's a cancer. Somebody's about to fall in love. What? Tell me more. Somebody's a divine feminine. This person could be coming back telling you that they love you. Yeah. Because you're the divine feminine. Yeah. Somebody needs some motherfucking therapy. Okay? Okay? All right, y'all. That's that's the message. Okay? I'm closing it out. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And then, yeah, this person really kind of wants you. They, they're coming back. They want you to make that investment back into them. But you're not going to do it. You're, you're too smart. You got other things going on. Continue to plant your seeds here. Seven of Pentacles energy. Continue to plant your seeds. Yeah, and look at look this. You see this person looking through the blinds? <laughs> With the ab That's an abacus. But you see how this person's kind of looking through the blinds like, ah, oh, nah, nigga. Nah, uh-uh. It ain't happening, partner. No. <laughs> you're not going to take that cup. And I wouldn't take it either. But that's just me. Because you are the divine. I can't make it up. You are the divine feminine. Okay? You are the divine feminine and you refuse to be miserable. Okay? And you're not codependent. Okay? You're definitely not. You are the king and queen of wands. So you are definitely somebody that plays mama and daddy to this nigga's kids. And this nigga coming back your way. Okay? Yeah. You got you you got you you're already balanced. Yep, keep moving forward. Eight of wands. I can't make it up. Keep moving forward. You feel me? Alright? That's the end of the message. I'm closing out the reading. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces.